neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Georgia has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of seven on the play. That'll bring up second. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here comes the pressure, and they get the sack. I think the offensive line missed a block there. Somebody did it. It was like a jailbreak up front, and the linebacker will get the credit for the sack. From their own 28-yard line, third down. Swings it out left to the halfback. And he is drilled at the 29-yard line. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. That'll make it fourth and six. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Jackson fields it at the 34. The ball pops free. Recovered by the offense. Tackle made at the 41. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. First and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down right around the 48-yard line. That makes it second and two. They'll bring him down around the 49-yard line. Third and five, all in the 49. They go to the runner. He's taken down behind the line. Martinez is the deep man awaiting the return. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Runs right for a nice game. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll bring up third and two. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Strong play by the defense, but they'll come up just shy of the stop. 
from their own 32-yard line. First down. Heading for the corner. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Throws it away. Third down again. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Throws it in a hurry. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 47 yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. He's got it with room to run. And he hits him hard at the 42. You know, the defense looked a little sluggish there, and they can do better than that. That makes it first and ten. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. This is the ninth play of the current drive. He makes it to the 45-yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. That'll make it third and 13. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. for a sack on the play. Jackson is back deep to return. He takes it for 12. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Got to give some applause to the defense. They really came out playing strong today. Well, you know better than me, Brad. It, this college football game is about emotion. And to be able to play great defense in a college game, you've got to come out and play with your hair on fire. And we've seen that from both of these defenses so far. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Nice run, and he's brought down. That brings up second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 32. Going long. And he's got his receiver. It's the sophomore. Brought down right around the eight-yard line. The receiver found a hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Nice run there. A nice seven-yard gain on the option keeper. That brings up second and goal. when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. He makes the PAT. So a four-play, 72-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. So our score, 7-0. Georgia to kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Bulldogs have found a way to shut this offense down, but, hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, 
Would not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. And they'll get him in the backfield. From their own 23-yard line, second down. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. One-yard loss for the halfback. quarter of play we've got a low scoring defensive battle on our hands Georgia in front 7 nothing and we're ready for more football here in quarter number two get to that quickly and they got him for a loss Fourth down. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Jackson fields at the 44, and he's tackled at the 44-yard line. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Georgia is up by a touchdown. And he just gets rid of it. From the 44-yard line, second down. He throws right away and this one falls incomplete good effort there by the receiver but just not enough room for him to get a foot down in bounds here's a screen pass gets it to the back he's at the 30 he's at the 20 and down he goes right around the 16 yard line From the 16-yard line, first down. Brought down to the open field. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Five wide. First down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown, Georgia! Really good vision here by the quarterback and a good understanding of where he was on the field. He didn't need much, and he knew he could get it himself. point so that's a six play 44 yard drive and a touchdown as a result brad i thought that was a textbook drive i thought they did a really good job of showing balance mixing the play calling with the run in the pass it's just an overall well executed touchdown drive so the score now 14 nothing he's to the 20 and down he goes at the 21 yard line It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And they make the stop at the 33. First and 10. Ball on their own 33. Watch two. Watch two. 
He'll keep it on the ground again. Tackle around the 34-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Third down, nine to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And they push him out at the 48. You know, the screen pass is used more often than not when the defense is putting pressure on the quarterback. When they feel this is the time that they can get after the quarterback, whether that's a, a blitz situation or it's third down and long, when they really feel like this is the play we're going to get after the quarterback and the offense is able to sniff it out and get the screen pass off right over top of the blitz, and then you have either a receiver or running back waiting there to make a big play, and he's got a convoy of linemen in front of him that didn't have to worry about the pressure. But now you talk about a big play for the offense. And he's tackled around the 50-yard line. Gain of two yards. That brings up second and nine. From the 50, it's second down. Knocked out of bounds at the 46. change field position. He's tackled at the 20. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Good tackle there in space. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Zips it to the back, and he shoved out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. Milton picks him up two yards with that catch. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on the 33. Defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Oh, excellent punt. And he's taken down at the 22-yard line. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. He's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Steps out of bounds at the 19. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it 30 13. Get down, get down. Mike 
He's tackled at about the 37-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Now he's scrambling. Decides to slide. Stroud comes away with five yards on the scramble there. That brings up second and five. Hey, defense, let's go. Pick it up, D. Choose the mic. Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down around the 40-yard line. Ohio State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. That makes it first and 10. From the 40-yard line. First down. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. He flings it. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. They'll line it up again on third down. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's taken down at the 43. See if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. Well, we've played a half of football. The Bulldogs lead it by two touchdowns. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still still scoring points, still putting up good numbers, but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk ready to roll. Sends it sailing downfield. Gets to about the 24-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. McIntosh gets about four yards on the play. That brings up second and five. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Tackle made down the 36-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. 
Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. This wide receiver is very frustrated. You can tell by his body language. He did everything he needed to do to get open to be able to make a big play. The quarterback just didn't put the ball in the money. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. They bring him down to the backfield. on that pass. It's a nice catch by the junior wide receiver, but an even better effort by the defense to keep him from going anywhere. Thorson is waiting for the snap. Booming kick. Fielded at the 19. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Here's the halfback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds at the 44. From their own 44-yard line, it's first down. Williams gets the call. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's at the 30. Brought down around the 24-yard line. at first and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. On the draw, tackled in the backfield. He knew it was a run all the way. Got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. Hands it off inside, brought down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Here's a quick throw. Big play, and it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. We're at play number nine of this current drive. it up the middle for a nice run. Call it a gain of six yards. That brings up second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the one-yard line. They put everyone up on the line. Touchdown, Bucks! When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. That is exactly what they needed to get back into this game. 
a defensive stop on this next possession, and this game could very well be tied going into the fourth quarter. He makes the PAT. A 10-play, 70-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. Georgia's offense was rolling along earlier, and now they have gone ice cold in the third quarter. Brad, they almost look like a different team. It's like they've come out of the locker room a little bit flat here in the second half. We'll see if they can have something happen, something to spark them and maybe get their mojo going before they end up losing in this ball game. They go with a counter and he's hit in the backfield. Second down and 16. Ball on their own 21. Five wide. He's out to the 30. Makes it out to about the 40. Georgia is up a score. quickly and it's almost intercepted. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. He unloads it. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 37. Mike 35, Mike 35. Let's go. A three, 95. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. to the 27. Short pass, middle of the field. And they make the stop around the 46-yard line. Martinez will be the return man. He really got a hold of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force them into a mistake. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he's taken down around the 30-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Nice run, and he's brought down. Lack of offense or great defense. Call it what you will. We head to the fourth quarter. 14-7, Bulldogs. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. So the quarterback keeps it for two yards. That'll bring up 
third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. Forward to about the 40. Nice run to the left there. Gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. From their own 44 yard line. Second down. Under heavy pressure, and he's going to be sacked. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's out of bounds around the 47-yard line. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. They'll run it. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. And this is the 10th play of the drive. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Run the middle and nothing there. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. And that was the sophomore linebacker there who was able to get in and make that tackle. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Tackle around the 27-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 27. Slings it. He's tackled at about the 17-yard line. Number 10 on the tackle. At the and this is the 14th play of the drive. And he carries the ball for a nice game. He kept it himself and picked up about six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Just under three to go in regulation. And down he goes at about the 13. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. And this is the 16th play of the drive. Gets rid of it. Three, get up, get up. Fourth down, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Worked for him last time. What a play, and that is first and goal. This is the 18th play of this drive. The short yardage defense here. Hands it off. Touchdown, Buckeyes! Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he adds the extra point. 
it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 22-yard line. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. And he throws it away. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. Just over two minutes in the game. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He's taken down at about the 33-yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 33. Gets it out to the halfback. And he shoved out of bounds around the 33-yard line. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Tackle made at the 35-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. So it's another third down upcoming here. Well, the player of the game might come from the defense after that stop here late in the fourth quarter. That could be the turning point. Ohio State's going to use their first time out of the half here. Thorson to punt. He's tackled at the 20. They'll have some time to run their offense, try to move the ball, and maybe have a chance to score. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. A little over a minute in the game. He throws left. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Fires it quickly. Pressure coming. Couldn't hang on here in the fourth quarter. A minute to go in the ball game. Bring him down to 39 yard line. Brought down around the 25 yard line. Game, the outcome often comes down to one play. Maybe that pick was it, but who knows? We've still got some football to be played. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 20. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Aaron and Apple. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Jackson was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Roger, 
They'll line up with five wide receivers. Here we go. Green 19. Completes it across the middle. And they make the stop around the 29-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. the end of regulation and this game is still unsettled so we're going to overtime and we're back ready now for overtime throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete second and ten from the 25 yard line it's second down throws incomplete broken up So the kicker will come out and try to build a three-point cushion here in overtime. The kick is up, and he's got it. I know they would have rather put the ball in the end zone, but this is still big. Points are points. I think their defense is going to thrive under the circumstances. From the 27 yard line, it's second down. And he's taken down at the 18 yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Here we go. Caught with room to work. Knocked out of bounds at the 11. From the 11-yard line. First down. And he just gets rid of it. think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football and check it down or take off and run with it. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. So now it will all fall upon the kicker as they need these points to stay in the game. It's up, and he got it. He looked totally calm there, didn't he? He knew what he had to do, and he just drilled it. Both offenses did well responding to the early pressure of overtime. Now we'll see who can play better defense. Throws a laser across the middle. Yeah, the defense looked a little sluggish there. They can do better than that. It's first and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. There's a 
to strike complete. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. So the offense steps up and gets a big six points here in double overtime. And that gives them some breathing room for the time being. But I'll tell you, the way this game is being played, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this offense on the field again in a third overtime. And he hits the PAT. First down, 10 to go. Ball in the 25. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Rush is sometimes scary. That's They're really awesome. getting after the quarterback now. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. these guys have come to play today. If they keep putting pressure on him like this, he might start to look to get rid of the ball quicker, which could very possibly lead to turnovers. This could be it, fellas. It's fourth down. He heaves it to the end zone. Intercepted. Game over. And so that's going to do it. The Bulldogs get the win. 14-14. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.